Let it go, let it go, let it go. Period. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my November favorites. This is going to be the last video on my channel before Vlogmas starts and I'm really excited for Vlogmas, so I hope you guys are as well. But if you'd like to see the things I've been loving this past month, which I feel I have some great things, please keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start with skincare. I don't have too, too much, but I do have some highlight products that have just been so essential for me in the past month. I'm gonna start with something super new. This is the Jolique Rare Rose Serum, a hydrating rose serum that I have been obsessed with. Now, at the time you guys are watching this, this should still be on sale. I actually picked this up in skin stores, uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. I got to pick it up early. I do have a coupon code if you guys wanna shop that sale. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I did receive this from the brand, but I. I didn't have to make this video. I'm including this because I actually love it. But I'll leave all that information down below if you guys wanna shop. This has saved my skin. I did a skincare Sunday a week ago. When you guys are seeing this, it's not the one that went up today, it's last week. My skin was almost gray. If you guys saw that skincare Sunday, you know I felt so dry and almost cracked. My skin has really been going through it. You guys know I have hormonal acne, so my acne, it's up and down like my hormones. Also, it's basically really fall in Atlanta we got it quickly this year and so my skin has been really dry specifically in like the lower region of my face my chin and my jawline area because of the acne products that I use to clear my skin this has been a godsend this is actually the first item that I've tried from Jolique Rose has always been known to be very very hydrating this has just been an amazing product I'd always heard of Jolique because they have it at spas but I've never tried it and now I'm a believer and I'm so happy to have this in my rotation. The next product that I've been loving for hydration is my staple moisturizer for this time of year. This is the Belief Aqua Bomb and I've been using this for probably, probably four or five years. It is amazing. So this is my holy grail moisturizer for the fall and winter time. I have oily skin that's very acneic, just generally speaking, but during this time of year, my skin gets very dry and dehydrated. This is my favorite because of the texture. It's a viscous texture, but it's like a gel. It's like a lightweight gel cream texture. So if you have oily skin, but your skin tends to be a little dehydrated during these seasons, try this out. I picked this up during the Sephora sale. I picked it up in like the extra large version because my skin drinks this stuff it is my favorite moisturizer for the daytime for this weather and I'm just so happy to have it back in rotation belief has a really great line for those who are oily but still need hydration and have to walk the fine line of balancing between being oily and not being overly like moisturized slash oily this is a fantastic moisturizer and in the same category I picked this up during the Sephora sale I linked that down below if you missed it but this is the belief aqua bomb overnight lip mask and I'm obsessed it's a newer product I love it so this product came out probably a few months ago I saw the reviews online at Sephora and I wanted to pick it up you guys know I've tried the Laneige lip sleeping mask just like probably everybody else on the planet and while I do like it it's not my favorite my lips are dry like a man and I've been battling a lot of dehydration lately so I needed a new lip mask this is my favorite now when I first tried it I thought uh-oh, this feels eerily similar to the Laneige one, but it really hydrates my lips intensely. That's why I like it. I feel like the Belief one is just like surface hydration. It doesn't actually penetrate the layers of your lips. This gets it done. When you put it on, it's going to feel a little like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, but it's thicker, it's glossier, and I feel like when I wake up, my lips actually feel hydrated. Now, I still have to wear my usual lip balm during the day which is my Jack Black Intense Lip Therapy, but this is my favorite lip mask that I've tried, hands down. You guys asked for a review. I will do a full review in January because it's amazing. The next skincare product I've been loving is an oldie but goodie, and this is the Ultra Repair Cream for Intense Hydration from First Aid Beauty. This is no new product. I received a couple of these from First Aid Beauty. I've usually used this as a body butter because the skin on my body is dry, but usually not my face. But since November started, my face has been really dry. So last Skincare Sunday last week, I used this on my face in combination with the Jolique Rare Rose Serum. And you guys, my skin 
was repaired the next day. The moisture barrier in my skin was repaired. Usually this is really great for those with dry skin, really dry skin, or sensitive skin conditions such as eczema or rosacea, but when I am needing an intense hydration, I will be using this on my skin at night. If you're experiencing really dry skin, you may like this. I've only heard one woman tell me that this isn't hydrating enough, but usually speaking, if you have sensitive skin or really dry skin, this is amazing. I've let people in my life use this who have sensitive skin conditions and they have taken these so I've had to secure more but this is a staple product there's a reason why it is a stellar all-star from the brand First Aid Beauty I love it and the last product I want to talk about for my skin has been this Beauty Beats body butter and I worked with this brand maybe almost a year and a half ago or two years ago and i recently rediscovered this because i've had some in my bathroom and i've been loving it so shout out to beauty beats this is in the scent cherry it's i think it's like the tropical scent because it smells like cherries or almonds this is amazing it's an all natural body butter that's safe to use on babies and pets i use it on my pet's paws uh, but this is a really great body butter once again i've given it to people in my life who have sensitive skin conditions and they love it this is an excellent body butter i do believe it was even on sale for black friday so if you're not following me on instagram you missed it hopefully it's still on sale i'll link it down below but this is a really really great body butter i used it before the video started <laughs> i applied it to my hands okay let's move on to makeup i have a few products i want to share one is going to be a lip shade this is the bite beauty matte lip crayon in calvados i will insert a picture of myself wearing it i am a bite beauty ambassador i received this from the brand and this just makes my lips look so juicy we're gonna get into it i've been really obsessed with a warm toned lip color and this is one of my favorite it's a matte lip color, but Bite Beauty's matte lip crayons, they're kind of like a satin finish to me. It's not completely matte, but they are very, very comfortable on the lips. I love this shade. I also love that it actually has like a crayon tip, so you get precise application. This is a great, great product. Bite has really cornered the market, in my opinion, with their lippies, and this is one that I recently rediscovered in my collection that I've been loving. Okay, my next lip color, well, combo is actually what I'm wearing today. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, what's the line called? I can't see it, but this is the lipstick in Miss Kisses paired with Charlotte Tilbury's lip liner in Walk of No Shame. This combo is everything, you guys. I'm wearing it today. Didn't mean to flick you off. I love how it makes my lips just look so juicy. It's a warm toned neutral shade, really comfortable on the lips. I like this shade a lot more with a lip liner. I find that the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipsticks, that's what they're called, I don't don't find that they are completely opaque without a lip liner. That's how I got into the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. So these two together, which is what I have on now, it's perfection. The next lippy that I want to share, I believe was also on sale for Black Friday. Once again, if you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing out on so many things. I'm gonna be doing some giveaways next month, hint, hint. We just do all the things on Instagram, but this lip gloss has been my favorite. I believe I spoke about it last month, but I'm gonna talk about it again because that's how much I love it. Shout out to my girl, Sheena is fab. She is on YouTube, she is on Instagram, she has a website. This is from her beauty line. This is the lip gloss in Chanel. I'll also insert a picture of myself wearing it. This formula is everything. Now I've tried her liquid lipstick. I have it in Vibes, I believe. It's a bright, like orange toned red. It's beautiful. She did her thing with her beauty line. The formulation of this lipstick is amazing. It lasts. It's beautiful. It's like a pink toned nude. You guys check out her beauty line. I'm just so proud of her. I just love her like a big sis in my head, but I'm so happy to support her line through products that I actually love. So check out this lip gloss. And the last lippy is one that I have started wearing more recently, but it's an old favorite of mine. This is the Pat McGrath Matte Trance Lipstick in the color Elsin. 
Now this is Pat McGrath's probably most famous lip color. Elson is so beautiful. It used to not be one of my most favorite red shades because I always say Pat McGrath's matte lipsticks are not super, super matte. And I really like a matte, matte lipstick, but they do have great color opacity. They are thick and creamy. They look amazing on the lips. They are a bit expensive. They run about $38, but they're always on sale on her website. And this is one of my classic staple reds. You just can't go without it. This is going to be a hit for the holiday season so definitely if you're looking for a nice red she's your girl okay and my last two items are both blushes I cannot find one of them I don't know where it went hopefully I didn't throw it away when I was cleaning up the mess from my Sephora haul I love NARS blushes they are always my favorite I purchased this a few months ago when I went to uh, Buckhead Village District with Stacy this is NARS blush in Liberty now in the pan it looks looks just like, oh girl, it's just a pink. In person, it looks a bit more coral, but I have it on today. It just gives me the prettiest pink pinch flush look. I love it, love it, love it. I am so happy that I picked it up. Now the other shade that I am loving is called Savage. I picked it up during the Sephora sale. It is stunning. I can't find it though. Um, but I'll pop a picture in the screen. It's like a warm shimmery brown. It is beautiful. But if you're looking for just a nice everyday blush, definitely check out Savage. It just looks fabulous. It's a good one. Okay, now let's get, oh, no, no, no. I have one more item. One more item. And this is like a makeup accessory. This, it's a little dirty because I used it today, but this is the Beauty Blender Surface Simple. And this is basically like a palette like we 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 an artist but you use this to apply your cream or liquid products while applying your makeup so I use it to apply my foundation and concealer so I don't have to get the back of my hand dirty I did pick this up once again during the skin store sale um, I love this I have wanted this product for years but in my mind it was like girl are you really gonna spend that much money on something like this but when I had the opportunity to work with skin store I made sure to pick this up and and it just makes getting ready in the morning a lot more simple and clean. So I've been loving it. Check it out if you're in the market for something like that. Okay, on to fragrance. The first thing that I wanna talk about is this hair mist. I have been smoking cigars again. It's cigar season, okay? Now, I'm not trying to say smoking cigars is super healthy and you should do it. Do what you please, don't, don't follow me, okay? <laughs> I enjoy smoking a cigar because it's relaxing. It's just a hobby that I enjoy, but, the number one problem is your hair smells like smoke and that's not always a great thing. So I've started using my hair mist again. This is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Spray this in my hair after smoking a cigar and then I blow dry it or I blow dry it then I spray it. It doesn't really matter but this really takes the scent out of your hair and who doesn't want to have their hair smelling like Chanel? Coco Mademoiselle. Like, this is one of my favorite scents. It's classic, it's chic, it's a go-to, and I just think this is really chic in your hair. So check this out if you're looking for a hair mist. The next scent is one that I have recently rediscovered, and this is Hermes Twilly de Hermes. So this is a scent that I purchased probably over two years ago, and I haven't used too much of it because it used to just be very mature to me. This is ginger. It's a fresh ginger floral scent. It is not for someone who likes something light and sexy and cute. This is sophisticated, it's classic, it's chic, it's Hermes. I love it. Recently I've been enjoying it this month and I've been hooked. I wore it yesterday on Thanksgiving and it just went perfectly for the occasion. So if you love a nice ginger scent that's light and still has depth to it without being a floral or sexy scent, try this out. Hermes also has different varieties of Twilly. I believe I tried like a one with like a variation that started with a P. That was beautiful as well. But I'm so happy that I took this out of my collection to start using and enjoying again because it has become one of my favorites. And the last fragrance that I have been loving is the Maison Francis Kirkshaw Grand Soir. So if you guys saw my Sephora sale haul, which I have linked down below in the description box, I picked up the Kayali invite only during the Sephora sale and it smelled way too much like this fragrance. So I returned it. But in doing so, it made me want to pull this out. Grand Soir is a fabulous amber and patchouli 
and vanilla, sweet, spicy, I think kind of sexy scent. It's great for a night out at a cigar bar. It's great for a night out on the town. It's great for an everyday scent because you guys know I will rock a heavy hitting sexy scent just going to Publix. I love this scent. Now I always talk about how when I first tried it, I hated it. I thought it was grandpa's Stetson because I didn't try it on my skin. That's why it's so important to not only test something out on paper, but if you like it or if you don't, sometimes it's just good to test it on your skin because how it mixes with your body chemistry and sometimes just the dry down is very very different so when I tried it on my skin I loved it it morphs into something sweet and sexy and heavy this is an intense fragrance it lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts if you are thinking of picking up Kayali's invite only I mean if you want to try Kayali I say go for that but to me this is just a winner. Now the Kayali fragrance did last a fairly long time on the skin, but I just rather have this. And I love this scent so, so much. Okay, and the last scent, whoops, that I'm gonna be sharing is actually a home scent. Once again, I picked this up during Skin Store's Black Friday sale. This is a reed diffuser from Nest. I've never tried any reed diffusers because I just thought, wow, they're expensive, I can light a candle. But let me tell you, I love this. When this is done, I'm going to try the Rose and Oud scent, I believe. But this is beautiful. It's in the scent Holiday, which is their signature scent for the holiday season. It has pomegranate, fir, balsam. It's a very fresh, spicy, woodsy holiday holiday season hey it's just the best scent for the holiday the reason why i like this is because opposed to a candle you have the scent going all the time if you have pets or small children you don't have to worry about them knocking it over and causing a hazard potentially it's not as fragrant as a candle in terms of like being a really heavy scent. It's a little more subtle, but it works. It just smells so beautiful. This is just perfect for the holiday season. I love it. Okay, I have one miscellaneous kitchen item. I have been enjoying the holiday varieties from Nespresso. I picked up three sleeves of the Peppermint Pinwheel. If you guys saw Vlogmas last year, you know that was a whole debacle with the Nespresso Advent Calendar. So I did not purchase her this year. You guys will see which one I have during Vlogmas in a few days. But I've started using these because I love it. It's pepperminty, it's not too strong. It's just the perfect blend of peppermint coffee and it's just so festive. So if you guys are looking for holiday varieties from Nespresso, I will link them down below. Also, if you're looking for a gift for yourself or someone else who loves coffee, Nespresso is fabulous. I'll link the exact model that I have down below and I'll link to my holiday gift guides because I did them earlier this month. But this has been perfection. I'm so glad I got three sleeves. I love it. Okay, and my last items are going to be fashion. First, I have the sports bra that I've been obsessed with. And if you guys know me in real life, you probably know that I love camo. I love black and I love camo. And this is a camo blue and black sports bra that I recently got from Yvette Sports. I'll link the haul that I shared it in down below. It was a vlog. It's my favorite. Now, I always talk about how I love zip up styles because there's nothing worse than finishing a workout and you're hot and sweaty and wet and you try to maneuver it over your head. It's just very difficult. So I love that this one has a zip down the front. It also has sewn in pads, so you don't have to worry about them getting jumbled up, which I love. It's a high support style. It just looks so nice on. I will insert a picture of myself wearing it. I take these in a 3XL Plus, which is a D through F. I enjoy these. I do have coupon codes at Yvette Sports, so I'll leave that down below. The other Yvette Sports item that I've been obsessed with are these brown leggings. I'll insert a picture of myself wearing them as well. They're dirty right now because I wore them twice this week they are so silky smooth. They're high support. They have pockets. I never thought I would enjoy a brown legging. They also have them in a few other colors. I have them in teal as well. They're amazing. Evac Sports is really where it's at. I recently did a giveaway on Instagram and I think I gifted like probably 15 ladies gift cards for Evac Sports. The fabric, the fabric, the fabric. When you ladies try your items, please let me know how you like them. Even if I don't work with Yvette Sports next year, I will buy Yvette Sports because the support, the prints, the fabric, it's unmatched. 
Okay, and my last two items are going to be bags. The first one that I've really been enjoying is my Louis Vuitton Vanity PM. I got this last Christmas and it's just the cutest little bag. It has the reverse monogram on top and on the bottom. It comes with this detachable strap. I always wanted the Louis Vuitton Nice in the BB, but the more I researched that bag, when people tried to wear straps with it, it looked like it pulled on the canvas because that bag is really meant to be like a travel piece. Now I don't mind when people wear it like a bag because I wear my pieces multifunctionally as well, but I didn't wanna have to compromise the integrity of the canvas because this is not leather, it's canvas. So that's why I went for this bag instead. I love it, it's just such a cute little bop around town bag. So I've really been enjoying this one. And honestly, you guys, this is probably gonna be the first time in decades that I don't have any Louis Vuitton on my Christmas list, well any bags, because I just don't see anything I like nowadays. I really think I'm just into the vintage styles and all these brands have had so many crazy price increases. I'm just like, ugh, I'm over it. But this little baby, it's just such a fun one and I've been enjoying her a lot. Now my last bag is another one that I don't use all too often, but I lost a few inches in my waist because of strength training. I always tell you guys, strength training has shaped my body up tremendously. My waist has been decreased. My waist is the same like size inches wise that it was when I was 10 to 15 pounds smaller, it's because of strength training. So, I recently discovered that I love my Chanel wallet on a chain again. I previously liked it, but it wasn't my favorite because it sat too high, but now it sits a bit lower on myself and I love it. The only con for me is that because my car key is so large and the actual space for you to put a ring in it is so small, it can't fit inside the case, so, I don't, I don't like that I have to detach my key to use this bag, but I fix that by only really wearing this bag when I go out and have to park valet because then I don't have to have my key with me. A great piece, I would say get it pre-owned. I'm not buying any Chanel brand new with my money. Now, if someone gives it to me, that's different, but um, yeah, I would say get this pre-owned if you can. It's a fabulous piece. It is plus size friendly. I've been loving it again, the Chanel wallet on chain, and this is in the black caviar. It is such a good little piece. So those are all the items I have to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this November favorites. I cannot believe November is over. Thanksgiving was yesterday and it's almost Vlogmas. I am so excited. I have been working diligently on Vlogmas to have exciting and fun content, exciting and fun editing and everything of the sort. So I hope that you guys will enjoy that. I will be doing a December favorites, but it will be in January, so stay tuned to that. The next month's content is going to be full of vlogs. So if you love vlogs, this is going to be your prime time on my channel. I love you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to spend my next month with you and I will see you guys in December and in Vlogmas. Bye.